Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm gonna show you how to change your file permissions using the chmod command. So we are still inside of our working directory that was the test folder inside of here. If I do ls hyphen l, you can see I have uh, this hello.txt file and this public folder. The hello.txt file has a uh, permissions of 644 and the public has a 755. And these are fairly common permissions to see for files and directories. So, uh, in fact, you're gonna get used to seeing this, these same patterns sort of over and over. But let's say that you had this text file, this hello.txt, and you didn't want anyone other than Scott, the user Scott, to be able to read this file. You know, sure enough, Scott can read and write this file, but we don't want anybody else to be able to read it. Now, we can modify those permissions to be 600 instead of 644. Now, to do that, all we have to type is chmod and then 600. And now keep in mind, we, we went over seven, four, six, that sort of thing in the last video, but zero is no permissions at all. It's going to give it just a hyphen straight across. So we can say chmod 600 hello.txt and hit enter. Now when we type ls hyphen l, we can now see that the file permissions over here is uh, just our w and hyphens for the rest. Now that's pretty great because it's exactly what we wanted to happen and uh, you know, perfect. However, it uh, turns out we didn't want that to happen. We wanted everybody to have full access to this file. We wanted anybody to have full access to this file. So we can type chmod777 and then hello.txt and let's do ls hyphen l and you can see now everybody can read, write, and execute this file without any issues. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit control or uh, Command K just to clear this, but we're still in the same directory. Okay, so let's say we want everything in this folder to have the permissions of 777. What we can do is just step back and you don't really even have to step back, but uh, this might make it seem a little bit easier to understand. And what we can say here is chmod, uh, we want everything to be 777. We can type test forward slash and then asterisk. Now the asterisk is going to make everything, it's a wild card, right? So it means every single thing in this folder is gonna get uh, 777 permissions. I hit enter. We check it out, we go into test, uh, we can say ls hyphen l, and we can see everything's got the 777 permissions. Okay, this is one way of doing it, but let's say we want everything in here to have 666 permissions, including the test folder. Well, we can use a flag that just says uh, recursively, basically this and everything inside of it, apply this to. So we can say chmod, now we can do forward slash, or a hyphen, capital R, and the capital R stands for recursively, like I said, goes inside of everything, finds our files for us, and we want to say seven, or I'm sorry, we're doing the 666, and we're just going to say the test folder because I stepped out of it. Now, I don't have to specify a wildcard because I don't want to say the files inside of test. I want to say test and everything inside of it. So chmod recursively 666 into test, we hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's giving me some permissions errors. Now, I might not have permission to do this, uh, so what we need to do is run the sudo command. So we can type sudo, then chmod hyphen r 666 test, enter. You'll notice that uh, it didn't ask me for my password. That's because I have ran a sudo command already once. It usually, and it will for you, ask you for your password when running a sudo command only the first time in any session, and after that, it won't. Um, so now let's go inside of test. And uh, you see we are locked out. 
Now, why are we locked out? Well, let's type ls hyphen l. And you can see that in our test folder, we have access to read and write to this folder so we can see it exists, uh, but we can't execute in it. So let's, so let's go ahead and fix that. We want the test folder to be 766. We can do chmod and then 7766. Um, actually, just do 755. Test. Okay. Now let's go inside the test folder and ls hyphen l. Everything should be 666. We see it here. RW is 666. Cool. So, as you just witnessed there, what happened is we removed a crucial permission from a folder and we got locked out of that folder. Luckily, we had our trusty chmod command to once again allow us to execute that folder and get inside there. So these are file permissions are very important. It's, it's important to know how to modify them, but it's also important to know that modifying file permissions in a way that could make your files possibly insecure is not a good thing. So please before modifying your file permissions like crazy or something like that. Be cognizant of what you're doing and don't just go giving everything 777. You probably shouldn't really even be giving anything 777. Uh, so it just, yeah, be careful with what you're doing your file permissions on. But if you're losing access and somebody needs, says you, this file needs to be this certain permission, you now know how to modify it. So check it out, try out your new skills, do it on some test files you don't care about, so if you mess them up and you can't get them back to where they were, you don't have to worry about it. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook, Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.